Hello everybody, I'm the Whiskey Enthusiast. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're at Oswa's category number, sorry, seven for best independent bottlers. Our uh, nominees are Cadenheads or Cadenheads if you're in Campbelltown, apparently. Uh, Roy was uh, at the Springbank School and uh, they say Cadenheads uh, there. Uh, Gordon and McPhail who shook the whiskey world by saying they will not be filling any more, uh, well, buying any more casks from other distilleries that they don't own. Uh, North Star Spirits, Signatory Vintage, Scotch Malt Whiskey Society, and the Thompson Bros, who also uh, do um, uh, Doorknock Distillery. Right, and uh, today I'm going to talk about the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. And again, uh, this is not my pick. Uh, it's just what I can uh, showcase you. Independent bottlers are hard to review because uh, there's so many um, there's only so many bottles out there and uh, they're not mass produced so I don't know how great it is to review a bottle that probably most of us can't get or most of you can't get if I'm reviewing and if someone else is reviewing I probably won't be able to get that neither here nor there all right scotch malt whiskey society it is an independent bottle I think it might be uh, one of the biggest uh, if not the biggest but it's more than just an independent bottler, it's a social club, it's a membership thing. You kind of have to pay to get in as different to the rest of it to be able to buy their bottles, apart from auctions and stuff which is frowned upon, uh, you need to be a member. There's an annual membership fee but there are also member rooms which is um, why the experience is different. So I'll just uh, showcase you. When you get into, when you become a member, they send you like this kind of box, uh, Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. That's the Waltz in uh, Leith, Edinburgh. That's where their headquarters are, but they have in, in London, uh, in, in, in Singapore, in Australia, in the States, uh, in Glasgow, Edinburgh twice. Uh, like they have places and stuff and they have partner bars. And uh, in this box comes this um, magazine unfiltered but this is like a welcome bits but uh, they have a uh, I think it's a monthly release unfiltered magazine which is pretty cool and uh, there's some like paperwork saying welcome and welcome to the dram Sierge and uh, you can play bingo and stuff whatever this is like a welcome pack uh, then you get your uh, let me get this out of the way then you get your card Scotch Malt Whiskey Society card you uh, you get a membership number and uh, that's how you get into the um, into the into the places. And uh, this is a nice little Scotch Malt Whiskey Society glass. And uh, this is the book by the founder Pip Hills. Uh, this is called The Maverick. This is a recent release. Founder's Tale was the original one. Talks about uh, how it came to being. And um, Basically, he just went and uh, drank some whiskey at someone's house, uh, but for the first time he drank a cast strength whiskey because before that it was never like that. And he learned that uh, they got the casks from Glen Farkless. So he basically went, uh, gathered some money from his friends and bought the first cask and it just led to this awesome big society. And um, recently they uh, told that they just buy now new makes from the distilleries and uh, bottle well ca um, put the new makes into the casks of their own rather than buy casks from distilleries and uh, this was the virtual world record attempt we did recently so this was packed so I'll be trying something from here and I'll be um, reading you the uh, tasting notes and stuff basically the uh, thing I don't know if we broke the record yet though um, but basically the premise was uh, let's get as much people as possible with the same pack, drink at the same time, drink the same thing, virtual whiskey tasting. And today we're reviewing uh, Society Cast number 39.244, Tutti Frutti in a Wooden Ball. Apparently in US it's called uh, Sunshine in a Wooden Ball. Uh, maybe Tutti Frutti means something bad there. There used to be a in Italy, Italy, I think, and then came to Turkey as well. A show called Tutti Fritti and girls like took their tops off as they, they know this, found the answers to questions or something. Anyway, so they always have this kind of weird, fun names. And um, they explain. So this was the world, world attempt, uh, world record attempt. I'll just put it down here. Unfortunately, I don't have any full bottles. I have left bottles. But um, anyway, Tutti Fritti in a wooden ball. And... Uh, 
they don't name the bottlers uh, or they get the distillery sorry the distilleries um, they get the cast from or they get the new make from this is distillery number 39 but a very small easy research shows you that this is link food and the second number 224 means uh, th this is the this is the product of a 224th cask the thing about SMWS 99.9% .9 of their products are single cask, cask strength, and non-adulterated whiskey. They do blended malts, but uh, this one and most of them are tutti frutti in a wooden bowl. And uh, this is Linkwood, 11 years old, first fill, ex-bourbon barrel, and 61.5% uh, ABV. I told you their cask strength. Now, where is that? Yeah, there we go. I gotta do everything right. So this is my... Um, Scotch Malt Whiskey Society uh, dropper because I remember from the tasting that it does need opening up, but obviously, but uh, check this out. Yay. <laughs> okay, I'll read it to you a bit what it is. And uh, this was basically my uh, information about the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. They have member rooms and you can eat there. They have activities there. They bring like the three managers there. They have talks. So it's more than just an independent bottler and uh, it kind of feels like a social club you want to belong to. That's the caveat, well not the caveat, that's the selling point. And if you're living nearby a member room, even better. I don't live nearby a member room, but I do because of my travels, I can go and I really enjoy it. And uh, it just feels that you're part of a club, which you are, that you pay for, but you know, I like it. Right. Tutti frutti in a wooden... Sorry, I was, <laughs> was going to read it to my own. I forgot that. <laughs> Sorry about that. An oaky floral fruitiness surprised us all as we had difficulties describing the aroma. But we settled on a large bowl of tutti frutti kale salad in a citrus honey dressing served with an acacia wooden fork, spoon, uh, wooden fork and spoon tongs. A great texture, mouth coating like licking honey of a wooden dipper or the last bit of ice cream from a popsicle. But then, right at the end, chili crept up on us with a spicy finale. Water added the lush and vibrant scene or lush and vibrant scent of tropical oak and flowers, while the now tempered heat made it even more delicious and dangerously Moorish. Yeah, they have these um kind of name so without adding water 61.5 percent ABV let me say what I can get and then I'll add water but I do remember this opening up beautifully with water very floral very sweet candies bonbons uh, caramel chocolate um, Haribo sweets or luscious nectarine, or uh, or, or or a um, peach biting into a very juicy peach, orange. It is fruit salad, honestly. It is a fruit salad. Fresh bananas in um, in a fruit salad with orange juice, kiwis, apples, uh, strawberries, all that jazz. Let me go on the palate. Perfect description because I am eating a fruit salad right now. My mom and dad used to do fruit salads when it was their uh, bridge night. Honestly, they chopped every fruit they could find in it and then um, did orange juice. And it was in a big bowl. And the bananas and the kiwis and apples and oranges, whatever in it, that's just it. I'm having that. And it is delicious. The oak spice, like they describe it, comes at the end. But it's not super chilly. It's, I mean, obviously, it's 61.5% ABV. It's hardcore. But um, it's not as bad as you would think it is. I remember doing... Yeah, I think this much would do. Right. So let's uh, just a little bit of that. But... It is such fruity. And Linkwood is a beautiful distillery in that sense. They do, it's, uh, I think, uh, part of Flora and Fauna. So you can go and get that. That's accessible. But uh, there are some incredible uh, independent bottlings of uh, Linkwood. 
obviously incredible bottlings on in, in Scotch Malt Whiskey Society as well, if you remember. Yeah, this three number 39. Um, am I? Yeah, it is Linkwood, sorry. Now, Kiwi notes came up more. Yes, it became more fresh, a bit more tart. The sweetness is still there, but the fresh apples and the kiwi and the uh, acidic orange juice is coming up top. Very pretty, but the banana is still there. The strawberry is still there. Mm. Oh, that's pretty. Get the oak notes more now. The fruits got more rounded. You get a bit more sweetness involved. Maybe there is um, maybe there's strawberry with powdered sugar. You used to dip the strawberries into powdered sugar. Everything is fresh and sweet. No chocolate, no treacle, none of those dark, dark sweetness. It's all fresh sweetness. Really nice banana, peach, apricot. Papaya, mango, like all of them. Fantastic. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let me do a little bit more. A little bit more. Just, um, yeah. And, you know, the, the reason why I like um, Scotch Malt Whiskey Society and the reason why I'm a member is because of uh, its involvement in these things. Like, uh, I was on, on online uh, with, I think, 600-something people trying to break a world record. These kinds of things they get you involved in is well, you pay money for it, but I mean, you're getting single casks, whiskies, and uh, yeah, there are some really old stuff uh, that you can <laughs> pay a lot of money for, but uh, you can also get really, really good value things. And if you find it at the right time, they have like fantastic deals where if you get someone uh, as a member. Uh, you get a, uh, you get a free, like, six month membership, uh, increase, or you get a bottle, they get a free bottle. I, I took my sister to the members room in, in London, and, uh, she really liked it because she lives in London. She's like, okay, I think I'll go. And then they had a nice deal where, because I referred her as a member, I got a free bottle. She got a free bottle. It was, uh, it was fantastic. And the member rooms, the guy, the staff, are always super knowledgeable, super friendly. They will have you try stuff. Uh, you know, if you if you like already tried things, but you wanna maybe uh, can't make your mind up about buying a bottle, they give you on the house different things to try. And the things they give are single cast, cast strength, ten years, twelve years, fifteen years age whiskeys. So you know it's good, and their food is really nice as well. Uh, in wherever I went, and. Um, yeah, the Queen Street in Edinburgh is a fantastic place, but uh, the waltz in Leith is pretty special. Okay, with more water, what did it say? Dangerously Moorish, tropical oak flowers. Absolutely, they nailed this tasting note. Interestingly, I get the red chili, uh, sorry, green chilies now, uh, fresh jalapenos now on the nose than I did uh, before. I didn't before. But it's a very consistent nose. It's um, even with all this water, it didn't change that much. It just got a bit more opened up, a bit more uh, in your face. Oh yeah. Oh. Now, on the fruit salad, someone put a nice fresh mint sprig, and um, it's so bitey, but it's so fresh. I'm I'm breathing from all of my um, pores. Oh, that's pretty. That's good. That's refreshing. That's sweet. That's a little spicy. A little bit oaky. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to recommend, uh, but I would recommend to a Linkwood, three Glencairns to a Linkwood, go and buy the Flora Fauna version. It's really nice. Uh, Linkwoods are an easy sipper whiskey. And... Um, yeah, tell me, are you a SMWS member? If you saw why, I know Matt at Whiskey on the West Coast is, and he did a video about why he's a member, and I completely agree with him. So cheers to Matt, my friend. And um, yeah, tell me, are you a member? Do you want to be a member? Can you be a member about where you are? Do you think it's uh, a good idea for an independent bottler to charge you membership fees? I don't know. Have you ever had an SMWS uh, release? If so, what was it? Did you like it? Yeah, talk to me. But this was 
uh, one of the nominees as uh, the best independent bottler, SMWS, Scotch Malt Whiskey Society, and I shall see you on the uh, next one. Uh, yeah, cheers, guys. Thank you very much.